In this video, we'll cover how to add elections to the system via an import. From the company homepage, scroll into the Quick Link section and select the link Import Employees and Enrollments. From the Import tool, select Import from a File, drag and drop your file. Next up, we have the Options page. This allows us to see the name of our file and select what we're importing. From the drop-down menu here, we're going to select that we're importing enrollments. We can see some more information is now needed. Are we including dependents on the file? Since our file does include dependents, we're going to go ahead and check the box for yes. What type of enrollment are we importing? From this drop-down menu, you'll see all the various types of information that can be imported for plans. But again, we are adding a medical plan which remember we built under the basic model. So we'll select basic. Next, save and continue. From our mapping page, we'll be able to see the mapping that has been applied by Employee Navigator to our file. Here we can look to make sure that those column headers are matching to the appropriate fields within Employee Navigator. When we see one that's indicated as a skip, if we need that information to be included, make sure we select the drop-down menu and choose the appropriate Employee Navigator field. Scrolling over, make sure we see only one more plan needs to be mapped and that's gonna be the plan name. Once we've mapped all our fields, save and continue. Here from the audit page, again, the system is trying to logically map the plan name that's in our file to the plan name that's in our system. Our file only contained the name UHC. However, the plan is named in our system as 23-24 UHC Choice Plus. We'll select that plan from the drop-down menu and select Save. Doing one final review, no errors found, go ahead and select Continue Import. One last confirmation, we are about to import 91 employees and 71 dependents with enrollments. Final step, commit, and back to our import dashboard, we can see that it has now been queued. Again, you will receive an email notification once the import has been complete, and if you ever want to, you can also check the status here at any time. If you'd like to move on with additional work, go ahead and navigate to the Home tab or any other tab as needed. From our home tab, again, we can do any additional work that we have, but we just want to make sure that those enrollments were loaded into the plan. So we're going to go ahead and select the benefits tab. And now we can see we have 91 enrolled employees in the plan. One thing to note here is we are only counting the number of enrolled employees. This number does not count account for enrolled dependents.